Okay, hi, I'm Council Member Felicia Cowden and it's September 25th and this is an update on our council meeting today. And I will say that we actually had some really important and powerful presentations. Uh, one of the things that was uh, very necessary is we had the Department of Hawaiian Homelands and our wastewater development team in and we looked at our Lihui and Wailua Sewer Residential and Wastewater Development Plan against what uh, the Department of Hawaiian Homelands is considering doing for potentially building up to a thousand homes in the Lihui area um, on a Grove Farm parcel behind Eisenberg subdivision that reaches all the way over to about where the county buildings are and goes up Mauka from there. And then also in Wailua, when we're looking at how um, some of the Department of Hawaiian Homelands areas can be um, built out. And we then, looked at how we would be helping partner with Department of Hawaiian Homelands. One of the things that we're really clear on, if we're able to build a thousand houses quickly, for our um, beneficiary community that have been waiting a very long time, that will benefit all of us. Some of it we see was more difficult um, than we might have realized. We learned about how the slope and the gravity feed in the wastewater system is important. And so at the top of the pile of that, if we put a lot more sewage coming down, that it might overwhelm and at the bottom. So we had really good conversations. We looked at where and how we could potentially move things around in Wailua. The good news is that we really want to work together and I think it's going to make it much more possible to get these studies done and have that happen. We also had Smith, Dawson and Andrews, those are our consultants at the federal level for the county, coming in and reviewing with us the work that they've done some of which in the past has been like the Tiger Grant and Lihui, getting that money for the Poipu Road redesign, that's about $25 million. And then a lot of what's going on with Lihui, Li, Lima Ola. So we put focus on that and then where we can get in the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act, how we can possibly gain more money to do the infrastructure. Because as we all know, Housing and workforce is our critical issue, but we can't have any of that without infrastructure. So they were in here talking about federal monies that we could get. Another fun piece, I guess fun, I mean the, the lateral access and the bike path, that's great. So we were looking at the indemnification for the area between um, the airport and the ocean and going between now Willy Willy and Ahukini. And it's just the partial movement, but um, when we indemnify or hold harmless the state in getting the next la layer of permit, and one of the goals that we have is cleaning out all the abandoned cars and discarded items that are there. So that was a big piece. And then um, we had, we had one more thing that was kind of a big deal here. Let me look where I wrote that down. Um, I'll hold that back for a sec. Oh, I know what it is that I'm excited about is 24 more units in our Kealaula. That's where we have our, transi our transitional housing, bringing people from being without housing into housing in a nice and simple way, low cost way where they're assisted coming back into the fold of paying bills and having stability in their lives. So this is going to be adjacent to our existing property right there in Lihue near the water department. I want to give a special point of gratitude to the Division of Water, I mean, excuse me, to the Division of Forestry and Wildlife because it is their land that's availing this place for these houses to go. So beyond that, we added a few more people to our commissions, gratitude to those people, and we went over a number of grants that we've gotten from the state and the feds for improving our elderly affairs, our prosecuting, um, and 
department and bringing people back out of difficulties. And um, I think the other one, we had some stuff with the police and our traffic safety, but a lot of stuff that's kind of normal in getting uh, reallocated with funding from state and federal government. So gratitude to everyone, and we wish you all a really great week.